Oh, what was that? <clears throat> well, uh, that was a little uh, thing I heard Lenny Bro do over a 1625 turnaround. So let me play it slow. So what does that mean? So the 1625, this will be in C. That would be, you know, C, da, da, A, D. And I'm playing that D to the two as a minor chord, but it, that lick works even if I'm gonna play it as a, a dominant. So, you know, C, A, D, G, one, six, two, five. So the lick itself <clears throat> is really just arpeggiating those chords, throwing in some substitutions and some uh, alt sounds, some altered sounds. <clears throat> and the first part over the one, so you got a C here, and um, he's playing E, G, B, and you know, you could call that that's the, if you call it out of C, out of the one, that's the major third, that's the fifth, that's the major seventh, but you could also call it an E minor. Um, an E minor is a common sub for, uh, for, su uh, for C. Um, so that's the, and there's just a little, little lick to get it to the next step. Um, little passing tone there. And now here, that note, the C sharp, that is the third, the major third of the A chord. And there's just a that third, fifth, flat seven. So that's an A7 chord, um, third, fifth, seven. And that sound, that B flat, well, that's a flat nine sound, just so you know the that sound. Or it's a little alteration of that A dominant chord, that six chord. Um, so then, so and now just a little slide, another passing tone. So the A F D, that is the fifth minor third and root of D minor. And like I said, even if the, the tune, if somebody's comping and playing a D dominant, um, in a sort of jazz blues setting, playing that D minor arpeggio works perfectly fine, even if the, the chord has a major third in it and, and whoever's comping. So, uh, and now, you know, that's just, just a little kind of beboppy walk down. And then finally, so where were we? Um, so that was our D minor, that was our two chord. Now, I'm on B here, this last lick. And the B, now we're on our five chord. The B is the major third of the five chord. The D is the fifth of the, uh, the G. So third, fifth, Oh, and the F, uh, that's the flat seven. You know, that's what makes the, gives it the dominant sound. But uh-oh, uh, you know, you got G sharp here. What's that? Well, in the G, it's a, uh, it's a flat nine again. So, you know, it's this sound. Whoops. Uh, so, and then resolving back to this G, which is, uh, you know, back to your root, back to the fifth of the, of the C. So, you know,
Anyway, so that's a little Lenny Brolick, little uh, arpeggiated thing over 1625.